Hi, this is Karen from Cardio Golf, and this is your Cardio Golf Weekly Dose where I give you exercises and swing drills to help you improve your game. So today we're going to talk about weight distribution and how your weight needs to change depending on the shot that you are trying to create. Let's start with chipping. When you chip, your stance is narrow and your weight distribution is towards your front foot. So if you're a right-handed golfer like me, that's your left side. The ball position appears to be slightly back in the stance and the hand slightly forward. And this setup right here with the majority of my weight on my front side helps give me a downward descending blow to get the ball up in the air. When you set up, your head should actually be in front of the ball. The worst thing you can do with chipping is put your weight back behind the ball. Now your head is behind the ball and that's where the bottom of your swing is going to be. So you're either going to hit behind it or catch the ball on the upswing and top it. The weight distribution for pitching is similar to chipping, but because you're adding a little bit more length in your swing, you can widen your stance a hair. So now you can see I've got my stance a little bit wider, but the majority of my weight is still on the front side. So this setup, again, will actually encourage more of a downward descending blow. If you're trying to get the ball up in the air, you have to have that downward motion. The worst thing that you can do in pitching, again, just like chipping, is put your weight on your backside and try to help the ball up in the air. You can see how far my head is behind, so now I'm going to chunk it or catch the ball on the upswing. For that pitching, try to get that weight on that front side. A really good drill for chipping and pitching is to take your back leg and put it behind you, lift your heel. Now you can see that gets the majority of your weight on your front side and it's going to be much easier for you to get into that position to strike down to control the ball, get the ball up in the air. So now to hit a full shot with an iron, the ball position is in the middle and now your weight distribution is even. You can see I've got that ball right in the middle of my stance and now I have equal weight from the left and to the right. And this position right here is going to help me shift my weight to the right because I'm a right-handed golfer and then back towards the target. If you have too much weight on your front side when you're hitting an iron, then it's going to restrict your weight shift and you're, gonna, and you're going to come down very steeply on the ball. Likewise, if your weight distribution is too far back with an iron, then that's not going to allow you to catch the ball on the downswing and you're going to hit up on it. So weight distribution for the irons should be even. The best thing to do when you're setting up with your iron is to take your grip first, set your club behind your ball like this with your feet together and take two steps equal to the left and to the right and now you have the correct weight distribution for your iron. So now with the driver, because you're hitting a ball that's sitting up on a tee, you want more of a sweeping motion. So now the ball position is more forward in your stance and your weight distribution favors your backside. This position right here with more weight on your backside, first of all, gets your head behind the ball. It helps you take a nice long motion to get into your backside. And then from here, this helps give more of a sweeping motion to keep your head behind the ball. The worst thing that you can do with a driver is put the majority of your weight on your front side. This restricts your backswing and it's going to make you have a very steep downward descending blow. You might even catch the ball on the top of the club and it will pop up. That's because you're hitting down too steeply. Your head is getting in front of it. So for the driver, make sure that weight favors the backside. Here's a great little drill that you can do to assure that you're in the correct distribution. Take your back hand and put it behind your back knee and then stretch so you can see I'm tilting behind, I'm placing more weight into my backside and then put your hand back on. And this position assures that when you come through the ball that you're giving it more of an upward blow so that you can get some height to the ball and get more power. 
Weight distribution plays a significant role in the golf swing, and it has to vary depending on the type of shot you are trying to hit. For chipping and pitching, the majority of your weight is on your front side. For iron shots, typically the weight distribution is even. And with the driver, the weight distribution tends to favor the back side or your back foot.